See, not uh, you know, not the results, not the game we were looking for here yesterday. Um, you know, I think pretty obvious we didn't play well enough to win. Um, certainly thought uh, the offense went out, competed really hard, um, especially in the first half. Got a lot of things going, a lot of positivity for that aspect of it. There were certainly plays uh, in the second half that they'd like back, um, but I thought those guys competed really hard. Defensively, obviously, wasn't good enough. Uh, you know, in any really step from that aspect of it. Um, you know, a lot of things to clean up here today and go through the tape and make sure we're keep coaching and getting better. Uh, still, you know, a lot of moving parts on the defense, trying to get guys out there consistently to play together and, and be in position and communicate um, so that we can recognize some of the things that are happening and just continually try to improve that. And, uh, you know, I really didn't think special teams helped us really in some of those regards too. Some of the things that have been better for us in those categories, um, special teams wise, uh, didn't really show up in the game. There was some plays though in, in special teams that were improved. Um, you know, we, I thought we did a good job with our field goal rush and, and we had a, a pretty good punt rush in there too which i thought was going to come through so um you know we got to coach it better it starts with me you know i'm always going to say that because that's the truth you know i got to go out there and i got to make sure everybody understands what we're trying to do and then we got to go out and execute it and we got to just recommit to going back out there and working really hard uh, obviously coming off a short week last week um you know a tough couple games uh, really need to do a good job of just moving past those situations and making sure that we're doing everything possible to study and, and prepare for that next game. It's going to be no different this week. Um, be good to be back on a normal schedule, but you know we're only six games in, so we got to go out and we got to get better and we got to improve and uh, we got to coach and play and practice, which is critically important. You know we got to get the pads back on and go out and practice. Obviously, the um, I would say our lack of fundamentals, and I know that I say that a lot, but there's a lot of things that go into fundamentals even more than just pad level you know it's hand placement it's footwork it's uh dropping in his own coverage it's reading the quarterback it's breaking on the ball it's tackling it's angles it's keeping our head up in certain situations it's uh playing through the pocket uh there's just so many things that go into that that you know we need work on in those situations and we're going to try to capitalize on that this week so those are big big points of emphasis for us um injury wise i'm sure probably carry on is the biggest one for you guys um you know i know we met with the doctors this morning we rolled into a team meeting and then went into uh offense and defensive meeting so I'll get together with them. Um, you know, I saw him, he said he was fine, but, um, you know, just wasn't really a deep conversation as far as that's concerned. So hopefully I'll have an update tomorrow uh, once I talk to the doctors from that. Stuff. So um, I think that's about it. I mean, obviously I'm disappointed for the fans. I was really hoping to come home and, and play a good game, uh, you know, on, on the short week against a division opponent. And, uh, you know, we got to do a better job. So uh, we understand that. And we got to regroup and get ready to go this week. So we're kind of the bottom line. So. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'll talk to those guys and find out, you know, what's going on with all that, um, you know, tonight. And I'm sure there's probably a follow up with him tomorrow, see how he feels, you know, tw uh, more than just, you know, 24 hours out. You said carry on, told you he was fine in that period. I mean, a lot of the players tell me they're fine when yeah, I kind of walk back casually. So, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, I mean, all I'm saying is I saw him, spoke to him, he's here, you know, he's kind of going through all this. So, talk about the fundamentals, right? You can get back and pass. So obviously a lot of your key defensive players, especially up front, did not have a lot of that time in the preseason. Damon Harrison, and Trey Flowers, some of those guys dealing with injuries or whatever. How much is that a factor in maybe what's ailed the run defense so far this year? You know, I mean, I think it's it's probably a really good observation. You know, I mean, from that standpoint, I mean, obviously, um, I've got to make sure that when those guys miss those reps, I got to coach it properly to make sure they understand exactly what we're doing. Um, that is one of the things I talk about all the time: how important um, training camp is. Those reps in training camp, the cumulative amount of reps that we get in camp um, far outweigh the Wednesdays or every other Wednesday kind of repetition that we get. So um, it makes it really difficult to catch up. And, you know, unfortunately, we got to do it every single way we can possible. But, um, you know, I think training camp's really important. I really do. And um, it helps us as coaches get better. And I think it helps the players really kind of lay the foundation for what they need to do because we just don't have enough time during the season to do that. There's a emphasis from you on building throughout the year and getting better. Your defense has, has given up huge yardage numbers three weeks in a row. And yep. you know, some, some big play holes in a couple of those games. But where, where do you see you know, improvement with that group now? Yeah, I mean, well, it's hard to obviously say coming out of yesterday's game, you know, what would be improvement. Um, I think obviously it wasn't a very good game. I think maybe, you know, for two weeks in a row, we might have held two of the better quarterbacks in the league without a touchdown pass. I think that was probably pretty good. Um, but obviously, you know, didn't execute well yesterday. So it's all about the current game and what we did in that game and, and what we do going forward. You know, that's really the bottom line. So we've got a lot of areas to improve on. There's no doubt. Um, and we got to make sure that we get out there and we practice it and have some consistency with it. But uh, there's not a lot to say about that at coming out of a game like yesterday. That's totally true. Hey, man, you're, you're a defensive 
do you, do you believe it's it's correctable and, and salable this year? I mean, when you're looking at this group and the personnel and coaching staff that you have, that this is something you can write within this this particular season? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm I'm going to coach. I'm going to coach my butt off. So you know, we're always going to you know coach and work and try to improve and get better. And um, you know, certainly that's happened many times in the years past where teams have gotten better uh, as the season has gone on. And defenses or offenses or special teams have improved those fundamentals and, and really kind of gotten everybody on the same page with what they're doing and and uh, gotten it to work. So um, we obviously got some work in front of us to do here and get that right. But uh, yeah, I certainly believe that that's that's what we can do. Yep. After a performance like Sunday, how do you go about prioritizing? what to improve upon on the defense and what to you know, get fixed first. Yeah, um, you know, we were just grinding through the tape. That's why I was a little bit late, so I apologize for that. But I want to make sure I got through the entire tape with everybody and um, showed them the, the fine line of some of the things that happened in the game that, you know, we just didn't quite get enough something here or something there or a communication here or there to just have it, you know, be where we needed it to be. Um, so that's where we're going to start. We're going to start with the communication. We're going to start with the coaching. I'm going to start with the teaching. Make sure I just give that one more time, um, you know, to them so they're hearing it again. Um, again, just to make sure why we have the time today to slow it down from that aspect. I just don't want any gray area from that. You know, I want it to be completely understood what I'm looking for. So that's where I put it on me, you know, where I got to coach it better. And I think there are certainly things in there, um, small details of, of technique work that we needed fixed. Um, and now we got to go out and, and work on it, you know, out on the field. So that's where I start, you know. Um, it's not really a scheme thing. It's, it's you know, I mean, we, we play, we can play any scheme we want. I've coached more defense probably than, you know, anybody in the league as far as scheme is concerned. Um, we got to start somewhere, and then you start with your foundation, and your foundation has to be good fundamentals. And if you don't have that, or you're not consistent with it, then it becomes really hard to fix everything else. So it's close where you, you know, like you see it, it's there, but it just hasn't been executed? You know, I'll say that I thought um, it was probably closer than where it was yesterday. I thought yesterday was not where it's been in the past. I think, um, I think I definitely saw that on tape. So um, that's why I wanted to go back today and make sure that I was teaching it again to make sure that I didn't leave anything out from that aspect through the course of this week that caused us not to play up to kind of some of the technique that we've been doing, really, you know, at this point. Matt, just, just with your background and what you guys did in the offseason and to see the defensive numbers, they're pretty staggering, pretty eye-opening. Are you kind of embarrassed by what you've seen the last three weeks by this defense? I mean, um, I think a lot of people thought it was going to be a heck of a lot better, especially sure. building up last year. Um, you know, I mean, for us, we know that every year is a new year, so we've got to start over from that aspect of it. Um, you know, and, and certainly the biggest thing is we want to go win. You know, we want to go out and perform well and do whatever we can to help the team win. That's first and foremost. So um, obviously we did not do that yesterday. So that's not a good thing. And, you know, it starts with coaching and then it's going to go to playing. Um, but we're going to own up to that fact. We did not do enough yesterday to win. Um, and we got to move past that and we got to get ready for another really good team and a team that's going to run the ball again. And teams are going to keep doing that until we stop it. So we know that. We understand the challenges in front of us. Um, but, you know, as far as that's concerned, it's just we got to just keep pounding away to get it better, you know, from that aspect of it and just get it consistent, you know, and, and make sure we're working in a good direction there. Does it shock you, though? Does it blow your mind that, that <clears throat> you, you talk about if you don't change it, they're going to keep doing it? Does it shock you that, that it is this bad? Yeah, I, don't, I don't think there's anything in the NFL that really shocks me. I think it's, you know, it's, I've been in the league long enough to see a lot of different things from, you know, through the course of the years. A lot of different teams, a lot of different teams do things well and then not well, do things not well and then do things well. Um, I do know this. I know it's about just being consistent, and that's where we got to start. We're going to start just to be consistent so we can improve. If it's not consistent, it's really hard to build on. What's the level of concern at this point? Because you've said communication a few times. What's the level of concern at this point that communication halfway through the season is still an issue? Because that would seem to be one of the sure. easiest things to uh, we're not halfway through, so that's a good part Close of that. Halfway. And, um, you know, I would say the other part of it is um, communication is not an easy thing. Communication is one of the hardest parts of defense. Um, that is actually one of the most difficult things that defensive units have to do based on the things that offenses do nowadays. And they did some really good things, uh, different, um, to put us in some really tough communications. we got to handle them, though. we got to do a good job of making sure we're all on the same page with it. Um, but... Uh, but that is that is definitely number one as far as defense is concerned to make sure we're all on the same page. Sometimes, like you know, you'll have you'll have plays certainly in the game where um, you may not have the right play, or but everybody's on the same page because the communication was good, and they're kind of it's like one of those things where you say, hey, we're we're wrong, but we're all wrong together, so we're okay, we're right, and that happens, and you're okay. So um, that's just the biggest thing. You can't have you know different guys on different pages.
that makes any sense. Offensively, you guys are still rotating the guards. I'm curious, you know, why at this point through this, you know, not not halfway, but close, you know, whatever, sure. this far in. Like, what's the what's the reason behind that? And is that going to continue? Yeah, I mean, I think so far, um, you know, we felt uh, offensively that that's been good for us from that aspect of it, and um, you know, so from that standpoint we just want to stay with it you know we thought it's been a healthy thing uh to be able to give some rotation in there and give some different looks um <clears throat> certainly think it's always tough for the defensive line when they have to handle somebody new in there uh, i think when you're a defensive line you try to get matchups you try to do something to um you know usually offensive linemen play the entire game so you kind of hone in on those five and i think when you kind of keep that moving it maybe changes some things that they do also Concern at all that it, that it disrupts chemistry, or is it because they rotate in practice? It's not. Yeah, you know? I would say I would agree with the second point. I think because we, you know, we've done it in practice and we rotated those guys through, and, and we've done it so far in the games, and um, you know, so far, so far that has not been an issue at all. That's why it's been okay. Um, but certainly, you know, if there's anything like that where you're moving guys around um, and the continuity is ever an issue, um, then you want to try to settle that down the best you can. Your reaction to some of the extracurricular stuff that was happening at the end of the game there, post whistle. Yeah, um, you know, obviously uh, not not good, you know, from that standpoint. Uh, we, we talked about it and we talked about the why, you know, certainly there's no place for that in the game. Um, and just, you know, for our biggest standpoint is we're, we were trying to do something there um, from a, uh, you know, a calculated time management standpoint and um, it hurt that situation. So um, for us, that's the number one thing because we're trying to we're trying to do everything we can to win. Even though the, the odds may seem long, we're going to go through the process and do everything possible to compete. So we got to just keep a cool head there and, and do things, you know, the right way and do them smart. And so we address that. Um, certainly, you know, we can't have penalties. You know, that's number one. And uh, we got to we got to stay poised. It's the biggest issue is we got to stay poised. Yeah, just one thing. How, how tough is it for your secondary to sustain coverage when you're not getting like the pressure hit uh, on sacks or whatever in that progression? We got to especially the man coverage. How tough is that? On well, you know, I mean. Um, you know, certainly it's 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 tough in coverage when you don't get those situations. I think our coverage really this year so far has been pretty good. I would say, you know, last night obviously, um, you know, there was a lot of things not good, so it's kind of easy to to pick that apart. Um, we're probably in a little bit more zone than probably what you realize, you know, from that standpoint statistically uh, on early downs. Um, so, you know, for us, we gotta we gotta complement both of those when we are in those situations. There is a marriage of rushing coverage that we talk about all the time. Um, you know, as pretty obvious that it wasn't evident last night. So we got to improve that and do a better job with all of it and kind of matching up uh, some of the scheme things that we we're doing from a rush standpoint and understand the timing of the play. Uh, we really try to track the timing of each play, how long it takes, and uh, make sure that we're all in sync <clears throat> with that from a rush and coverage standpoint.